Okay, this week Sunday lunch we have our raw marinated raw fish here, otter. Oh, yes. Check these out: land crabs, kalahimu, cooked also in coconut cream. Beautiful. Notice here, this is taro pasta. And this week we're having cooked taro from the umu underground oven, Thank not you. boiled. Salad. Oh. Pork leg over here. Some more pork pieces here that was baked in the underground umu as well. And horok apia taofua. So on my plate, this is what I'm having today. I've got taro, raw fish, and land crab or kalahimu. Yeah, roll on over here, and he's having pork belly. Nice. The manaki, he got the manaki in how? The so Nucky's having raw fish, pork, and taro. Beauty. Oh, okay. Passing the gata eggs here, I'm low. Oh, where from? Awesome. Number one, Nick eggs. Hey. So this is the Koma tour today. Kalahimu is having. Also raw having fish. raw fish and pork and taro. As you can see, three plates. Fatty pork. Fatty pork. Really nice. And then I just got another piece. Dip it into the coconut cream sauce with the in the raw fish. Eat it on its own. Supposed to wash it down with the um, coconut. Coconut, but see, this is the next best one. It's the um, <laughs> lime water. No? Just eating them. Um, see this fattening piece of pork? Is that pork belly? And this is pork belly. Baked in the um, umu. Pork belly baked in the underground oven. Umu. Ooh, even dipped it in the otta. Dip it in the coconut cream sauce. Mm. Shame with the charo. Charo. Umu baked in the umu. So, umu baked taro, not boiled. This one here is totally different than the boiled one. If you bake it in the umu, kind of starch it out, and still get yeah, kind of like pretty compact. Because it's all dried baked, whereas the other one that normally boils in the water. Just chuck some for the dogs and the cats. This is um raw fish with lots of um mixed veggies. Well just onions, tomatoes, a little bit of cucumber. Yep, all those organically grown in my plantation. And the hot chili. Okay, here we go. 
Taro. Mm. This raw fish is beautiful. That's why it's perfect when it's made with seawater. There's a saltiness factor in it. Perfect. It wouldn't be too salty. It wouldn't be like not as salty as the seawater. Just a perfect amount of saltiness. She is. Beauty. So the spring onions and the tomatoes that I used in here, or me and Maka got from our plantation yesterday. All organically grown. Oh, it's perfect. Beauty. The Kalahimu now. These are lamb crabs. So this is the female one. Yeah. Wow, look at the back there. This is full of um, oh, beautiful. All that goodness. And this is the other side. If you can taste those, wow. Mm. What does it taste like? Yeah, it's just like any other kind of crabs that it's got a pretty strong taste to it. Look at that. All that fat mixed with coconut cream. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, he's enjoying it. Just eat the backs like that. Taro baked in Dumo. Very nice. I'll put quarter two now. I don't know what I'm missing here. A chili. I'll grab some. Oh, there we go. Thanks, bro. Nice. Pretty much I finished my first bowl of raw fish. I'll get another bowl and then I'll hit the crabs here. Mm. Now back with my second round. A little bowl here of my otter. Look at all that. Ooh. Either eat the chili like that or just crumble it, cut it, mix it into the actual atta. Up to you. Mm-hmm.
finished my second bowl. So nice, I will still go for some more. I still want to go for some more. So that's it for this week's Sunday lunch. Thanks for joining us and check back next week to see me eat this kalahimu or this land crab. Until then, guys, peace and take care.